I have a diabetes travel tip for you guys. Now it might seem obvious to some of you guys, but you never know, okay? It wasn't always obvious to me. If I'm traveling somewhere and I'm only bringing a carry-on, I tend to put all of my diabetes supplies in the suitcase that's going over my head. And even if I have bigger bags, I'd like to bring a carry-on with me because then I could just put all of my diabetes stuff in it and it's not in my backpack making it heavier. But again, that goes above my head when I'm on the airplane. And what happens if I'm sitting on the plane and I run out of insulin or something happens to one of the things that's attached to me and I have to change my insulin? Well, I can either go up into the suitcase that's above my head and I can open it up and get everything out, or I can have just a little bag of everything I need on the plane in my backpack that goes under my feet. Like I said, this might seem obvious to some of you, but it didn't always seem so obvious to me. And on my last flight with my family, Zach actually ended up needing to change his insulin and he came over and said, hey mom, do you have those supplies that were in your backpack? It's just so much easier than having to get out of my seat, go take whatever bag is above my head and who knows, maybe the uh, seatbelt light is on and you can't even get up. This having access to your bag right by your feet, really important. So I've got some insulin in the bag and then I also have everything for our pumps. And once a vial of insulin is open, it could stay out of the fridge for 28 days. And any extra insulin that you're taking that's unopened that needs to be refrigerated, you gotta get some kind of bag with an ice pack for it. I got this one on Amazon. There's lots of different types. 